It's Raj. Pronouns are he, him, in the UK with a question about slavery. Hello, gentlemen. Um, it's great to be on Massive hey, and for many years. I am an atheist, just so you know, for as long as I know. Slavery has come up many times on uh, the show, and I just wanted to throw a moral conundrum your way to get your opinion. Okay. Okay, so back in the day, you know, before we had societies, hunter-gatherers, etc., life was pretty brutal, right? And my thesis is basically that to progress society, to get to where we are now, to get to the point where we don't have to, generally speaking, worry about where our food comes from, we needed to be bad to other people. And something like slavery, for example, allowed us to progress as a society. Do you see what I'm trying to say? So, for example, no, um, I do. You like to say that there's two parts to slavery, right? There's a slave owner. This is really easy, Raj. Raj, this is really easy. Do yeah. the ends justify the means? Are you advocating for a moral system where the ends justify the means? Like, oh, this outcome's better for for us than we think it might have been. Therefore, slavery was morally justified. That's what I'm trying to ask you, right? Because yeah, no, no, no. I, 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 I get you're ask, asking me. I, I was trying to ask you back, but here's my answer. No, the ends do not justify the means. And also, you don't have a, uh, a, a time machine to go back and see what might have happened differently. Because if instead of slavery, we had started working with cooperation, maybe some of those slaves might have actually done things in their freedom that would have led to a better world. Maybe instead of destroying the library at Alexandria, maybe instead of having religious battles about whose God gets to enslave whom, maybe we could have made progress in an area. You don't know because we don't have a time machine. So at the end of the day, the best you can do is say, we're in a good place now and slavery was a part of that history. Maybe slavery contributed. Maybe it did, but maybe it also retarded progress. Maybe it slowed us from getting somewhere. I don't know how you demonstrate but even if we got to where we are because we were cruel and, and, and horrible to other people, then we were still cruel and horrible to other people, which makes it immoral, even though the outcome was ultimately good for us. But the outcome wasn't very good for their descendants, was it? The ones we slaughtered? Well, well they don't know, right? They're dead. We don't know, right? Um, but the uh, we, that you said... No, 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 uh, we don't know. Things. So uh, is is it generally, is life generally preferable to death? It, it's okay, Matt. I'm, I'm not really trying to argue with you. I'm just, it's more like what you said about the end justifying the means, right? You're not you even answering questions. That. Sorry? I, I'm just trying. I'm just trying to keep it on a certain track because, like I said, I'm an atheist, right? What I'm trying to say is, I, I mean, don't give a shit that you think that perhaps we, if we had a time machine, it could have been a better world without slavery. I'm I'm putting the point across that humans being humans, that's probably less likely, and I don't think that we would have progressed to where we are today without all the horrible things. I, I'm sorry, but I don't. I, I pointed this out already. I'm not convinced of your fanciful conclusions. I don't know how they're testable. I don't, we don't have a time machine. We don't have any way to actually tell whether or not the world would be better without slavery or worse without slavery. And, and because there are arguments to be made on both sides of it, let's set aside whether or not the world would have likely been better or worse and ask the other question, which is, is it moral? And the issue of does the ends justify the means is something that I rejected from the outset. Why is that so difficult? And why won't you answer questions when I'm after I've answered that one and trying to push back on this? I, th I think um, I didn't want to end up having to pose a opinion because I see it as a moral conundrum. You see what okay, I mean? well, I don't see it as a moral conundrum. Slavery I think is you're a mo just sitting here doing, doing the rough equivalent of naval fucking gazing that's time-wasting. Ooh, let's sit around and speculate as to whether or not the world would have been better or worse without slavery. I'll make this really easy. I think the world would have been better without slavery. I could be wrong, but I'm still... From the beginning of time on, if I have the decision, going to be opposed to slavery, even if ultimately somebody doesn't benefit as much as they could have. So, and that's far more interest than I have in continuing that. But thanks, Raj. Question. If you yeah. need something nope. moral today. Nope. 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 <sighs> but the answer to your question is, if something was immoral today, then yes, it was immoral in the past, even if people didn't recognize it. 
yes. it is based on the circumstances and the situation. But, uh, you know, I get it. You're an atheist. And when I say I don't care, I don't care. It doesn't matter to me what you believe about a God. You're making a case about whether or not, oh, slavery might have been necessary. Maybe, I mean, it's in, it's it happened. So clearly it was necessary to the way things actually happened. But you can't show that the way things actually happened was better than if it had happened a different way. And I have real stuff to do. And we're in a world where there's wars and rumors of wars, just like every time in history. <laughs> and we have real stuff to solve. I am genuinely only vanishingly interested in let's sit around and think about the world, what the world would have been like in this other alternative. And then let's argue about it. I'm fine with thinking about it, but let's argue about it. And let's argue about it again. And then let's argue about it again. I'm not that into fan fiction of alternate universes and alternate timelines. Give me one book, one movie. I can move on. I don't need to dwell on it. 